All right, I got it wet ragged on the bottom and on the top, so I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I got to solder this joint up, so we'll see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. Trouble, y'all. I gotta get the other one next. I'm thinking that's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, y'all. Nick Little. You can see it on the bottom down here. I got this. I got this rag on here to keep it cool. So, yeah, Nick Little. Here to keep it cool. I don't want to cook that rubber joint up in there. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be just fine, y'all. And I'll move them over to the other. I'll move them over to the other Gundy. I just want to make sure that that joint doesn't get too hot, you know. We don't want to cook it. We don't want to cook it. I just, I put those rags on there, those wet rags, so I wouldn't burn the rubbers, you know, just for shits and giggles. Just for shits and giggles, Mama. Better to be safe than sorry, they say. Hopefully I got no leaks, we'll find out. We'll move them rags over to the other one and we'll... Just get this in a bucket of water. These are just socks. Just socks. 
just to keep that that joint cool. I don't want to. I don't want to have to change that. If I burn them rubbers, it's going to be it will not be the smartest move in the world. So. I'm just trying to get these shutoffs in and the water back onto this building today. And I'll come back and, and do some more when I get some more time. So you guys can get the drift of what I'm, what I'm talking about here. Here's one. We'll do the other one. It's not too often that I, uh, you know, come across pro press stuff. I'm seeing more and more of it now, so whatever. I just don't want to cook them joints, so it should be okay. We'll turn the water back on. We'll see if we got any leaks, y'all. Hope not. Well, we will find out. Some water, go ahead. That it takes care of my dog.
shutting everything off. We're going to turn the water back on again. We'll turn the water back on and we'll see if we got any leaks, Mama. Hope not. So we ain't got no leaks, Ma. Only one way to tell, turn it on me. Yeah. So far, so good, y'all. Well, this is good. I got the valves here now, so I could bring this hot and cold into the uh, apparatus room to boost up that other line. I'm gonna have to get covering for it. And we're gonna go through this block wall, and that's another day, though. like a little apparatus room if they come in and they're all laminated. Look at just the hot on. difference in pressure. Watch when I after I send the boost to pump on. It's be a big difference. Alright, so basically we're like 32 pounds. This is all we're at. back on. I turned the water heater back on. I turned that back on. She's, she's heating up. <sighs> 75 pounds, y'all. Yeah, she's definitely pumping up. There ain't no doubt about that. Nice setup. I had to go in there and play around with the computer thing to get it both to go, so we'll come back down here in a little bit and make sure it shuts off. See what the pressure is now. Okay, it's a lot more. A lot more pressure now than it was. There's gonna be air in there, I gotta get out too, so I don't really want to do it through this valve. We'll do it through this, we'll get the. If there's any air in it, we'll get the air out. A little rusty, y'all. Make sure that there's no air in the system, you know. It's a eye wash. And Oh, this is like an emergency room if they come in from the fire and there's a problem they could uh, you know, they could dump here and there's a floor drain, they got the eye wash, they got a shower, um, they got a hand sink over there. They got a nice washing machine. 
Nice commercial washing machine here. Nice job. With a little pump. That's pretty cool right there. Let's drain gravity into this pump. And then it pumps, pumps out into the drain. Yeah, I could stuff my ex-wife in there. Turn it on full chooch! <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. <clears throat> no, I think we're okay. I'm gonna make sure we got no leaks. Ooh, look what I just found. Five sixteenths nut driver. Scores! Alright, these T's are fine. I'm gonna put this covering back on. And uh, I'll come another day and I gotta go through this wall here and, and run the copper. But that was what I wanted to get done today with the, with the wet rags on those joints so I didn't cook them. Uh, it worked out fine. I'll get Alright guys, I got the insulation back on there. I had some white duct tape. But I taped up the seams. You really can't tell. Uh, you really can't tell that uh, I sealed it. I used the white duct tape. Uh, and then, you know, obviously after I after I run these lines, I'm going to, uh, you know, cover those also. Uh. All right. So that's that's um part one. Part two will be going through this concrete wall and, you know, bringing the lines into the uh, apparatus room. Oh, that looks like it's a, it was a brick. That was a building at one time. I think that might have been a window that they blocked up. It's a pretty thick block, so I'll show you. There's a lot of additions on this place, but, so that's it for today. So again, the cold water feed comes in from the meter and it goes in and it goes downstairs and gets pumped up. Well this line in the apparatus room here to wash all the trucks is before the booster pump. So that's why I had to cut them T's in. I'm gonna come through this wall here. The cold will go over and feed this cold here. I'll cut and cap it down the end so this would be boosted water. And I'm gonna bring hot out here so we can go through a he could have hot and cold for washing the trucks if he wants, so I'm going to have to do something with that. But this is the wall i got to go through. You know, it's pretty big, so I don't know if it's solid or not. But I'm thinking it's going to be coming through, you know, up top there somewhere. I'll drill a pilot hole and I'll put some, come through with some sleeves and, you know, whatever this piping is, I'm going to have to get this white insulation and cover it after anyway, so gonna be a little bit of a job but I'll do it I'll do a little bit do a little bit on it every day or whatever I can boost the pumps in the basement boiler room I just want to make sure that that booster pump did shut off so Looks like it shut off, so there's no alarms going off. Looks like he's got it up to 75 pounds. Yeah! Oh, 75 pounds. That's the, that's the expansion tank for the booster pumps. And the recirculate line, the recirculator shut off. Recirculator pump shut off. We got hot water. Tank temperature 133. I don't know if you guys can see that 133 tank temperature. So we're good. That is one big ass tank, man. I don't know how many gallons, but man. Recovery per hour. The heat pump. Three hundred thousand BTUs. Wow, what a flipping monster! I wonder how many gallons does it say? Three hundred thousand.
fucking monster. I think he said it took four guys to get it down here. I'm thinking it's probably like 200. It is one big unit. Maximum input. 500,000 BTUs. It is one big unit, man. It's going to be a 300 gallon, I think. 300 or 200 gallon. It's definitely not no 75. That's what that thing is like. That thing is like, uh, I don't know, four feet in diameter. Four or five feet in diameter. That is one big unit. I'm not sure the size of it, to be honest with you. Recovery gallons per hour. 350 gallons, I don't know. Maybe. It's a big ass tank, man. I know it's a flipping monster. A little, a little high efficiency boilers, all brand new stuff. Let's go. We gotta go home. Getting late, you know. Let me move your water. Getting late, you know. Come on, push over. You okay? You made it? Here, drink some water. Go ahead. Go ahead, drink a little water. When I get home, I'll give you a beer. <laughs> I don't know if she's old enough to drink. She's my friend. She's my buddy, y'all. Oh, she nickel him, nickel him. Oh, she nickel him. She's my friend. She's my buddy. That's the baby dog, man. She's nickel him. <laughs> <laughs>